And welcome back, folks. We are once again playing The Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. So far, I've been dying a lot. Oh no! Oh no! It hit the crystal and didn't go through! It hit the crystal and didn't stay inside! get insanely strong later on once they've been upgraded a bit. I can't see! Oh my gosh! Did I get it? Oh no! Oh! Black screen <laughs> killed me. I better be a bit more careful. I need to be able to see is what I need. Stop smacking me into the wall! Here. 
leave the gems of my ancestors alone. You do not get to mine them. They're mine. They belong to my family. They're my family jewels. And you cannot have them. Or touch them. That means he's what resistant to fire or something because it oh jeez this guy does not like to take a hit. of hitting all of those is, but I'ma do it anyway. Uh. Ow. Save point.
I totally should have just charged across. Uh, black screen again. Here we go. Lots of barrel bobs. This is a Donkey Kong. Busy burning dreadwing, don't hit me. This level of fire breath, I can just burn them. It's really cheap, but based upon the number of times I've already been knocked out, I really don't care. Oh my gosh, that Dreadwing just completely ran off the uh, cliff. I'm not sure if he died or if he just flew back up. 
I guess we continue fighting until... Stop sending guys at me. I just thought of something. There's an old TV show called Dragonflies. And if you got the movie version of it that has just the first, I think, three or... I, I think two, it's like two or three episodes. Ah, uh, cutscene time. Maybe we should head this way, genius. Hey, Spot. Oh, check this out. Echo! echo, 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 echo. <laughs> anyway. So, we had this show called Dragonflies. <laughs> uh, my, my turn. Hello! the genius now. <laughs> I'm a whirling ball of death. Approach me at your own risk. As I was saying, it involves humans who live in a city-sized airship who fight against a... a they ride dragons, they've got uh, mechanical wings so they can fly themselves, and they fight um, some kind of human-dragon mutant hybrid thing. Uh, whose name is, uh, Dreadwing. Who's constantly trying to take over their airship for some reason. Between the dragons and the name of the, uh, bad enemies? Just brought it to mind. Hey, that's him. We did it. Bye. Mm, I don't like this. It's too quiet. Too easy. What, what part was easy? You, getting chased by frozen madmen and gorillas? Uh, sparks! Is that what I think it is? Ah. Yeah, the part that was too easy was the part where we just walk into... We walk into this room, and there's nothing guarding him. And he makes a sword out of ice with his breath. Oh, jeez! Fire does not stunlock him. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, you break those ice shards for more health than, uh, mana. Oh no! Oh no, I can't see! I can't see! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, curse you, camera! Back to full. Yeah, we're just gonna. Whoa, no! 
Because you're gonna burn your shield away. Oh, you wanna. I'll burn you faster than you can kill me. Oh, this. Yeah. He switches weapons. Not being able to see is really, really getting on my nerves. <laughs> All right. Now, if I remember correctly, yep, there's there's another phase. There's another face in this fight. Yup. good fury does against him. Not that much damage, but because it boosts my own regular bra Ah, you... Wait. There we go. Be because I have a boost of my regular breath power, don't matter. Ah, and we have defeated the Ice King. On the miraculous, incredible, stupendous. A dragon your size defeating that, that, th thing. Th thank you. Uh, 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 Spyro. A purple dragon named Spyro. Amazing. Of course, there were unsubstantiated rumors of a purple dragon countless generations ago, but most considered a hearsay. Gossip, legend, it's hard to believe, difficult to fathom, amazing to comprehend. Uh, hmm? Why do they gag this guy? So much time has passed, so many things have been learned. And now here he is, standing right before me. Excuse me, Mr. Vault. What, 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 what is it? Sir, should, shouldn't we get going? Oh, of course. But where to? Well, back to the temple. A friend of yours is waiting. Ignitus? Yes, Ignitus. Of course, much to tell him. Many hypotheses to pose. I... Jeez, that guy talks fast. But that's part of his charm. Still not my favorite dragon of the Guardians, though. Yes, yes, Voltaire. It's good to see you as well. But we don't have time to waste on sentiment. Back to Cinder. She was doing what? To Giggity. Cinder's a chick? Oh, it's hard to be absolutely sure, Ignitus. But it seems she was using me as some sort of suspended organic power source. Huh? 
she was using him as a battery. Why didn't he just say so? Not only that, she also left with a glowing yellow orb, and I believe that I somehow powered it. Does this mean anything to you, Ignitus? Perhaps. Perhaps. What I do know is that we need to rescue the other Guardians before Cinder can power any more of those orbs. I agree, Ignitus, but first I'd like to impart some useful knowledge to Smyro. These are via his recently acquired electricity-based exhalation device. What? Well, he says he'd like to teach me some things about that electricity breath. Oi, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Oh man. Let's see, we've got Ignitus. Now we have Voltir. I can't remember the Ice Dragon's name. But, first things first, we're going to do our electric draining, and then I think I'm going to cut the episode off. Spyro, come here. Wait, what? Oh, he's all the way on the other side. <laughs> because teleportation. Electricity, the spark of life. Listen, and I will teach you in secrets. You learn things you actually didn't know. This is what the uh, lightning breath, why the lightning breath is actually good. Approach coupled with more focus might prove successful. Come over here. Let's try that again. My gosh, why does it keep going black? I guess I'll have to try harder. Over here. I will never use this ability, I guarantee you. <laughs> Just because it, it's really not that easy to pull off. Oh my gosh, there we go. Grasp the concept. Excellent. This way, oh mob one. Okay. Chase and electrocute. Got it. The increased range coupled with the fact that it kind of locks on to them is really helpful with this ability. Is that all? 
No, there's one more. Come back here. You're a quick study after all. Pyro, come here. Wanted to throw electric arc at a dummy, trap it in a cage in the air, run up to it, press A to jump up. Kidding me. Once again, probably not going to be using this too much. Oh my gosh, black screen! Did I... Igniters will be pleased. Okay, good. I got them all. Over here. Ooh. And... After defeating small dummies, press Z. Defeat larger dummies with your electric fury. Come at me, bros. Whirling fall of electricity and death. I really want to know what keeps what's making the screen go black because it keeps happening more and more recently. It's been ha uh, uh, whatever. As long as you guys don't see it. Whoop. Your training is complete. For now. <laughs> For now. With that, I think we're going to cut up off the episode as soon as we're done with cutscene. So I'll see you in the next one. Spyro. Cyril, the Ice Guardian, was taken to Tall Plains. You and Sparks must go there at once and find him. Yes, sir. But if we see danger, we should run, right? There are times when all of us need to stand up to danger, young Sparks. Yeah, maybe next month, next summer, perhaps next year. Just go. Now. Yes, sir. See you in a bit.